today? You probably thought I was just gonna put on some like funky music this whole time, didn't you? Well, psych, I am here to talk about my favorite product in the entire world that I'm sure you know already, is, which is the Stabilo All Black Amazing Pencil. Yep, I said it, it is my favorite. Time and time again, year after year, I just love it so much. So today I wanted to do a demo to kind of show you like the magic of this supply especially if you've never seen it in action before so I went to Pinterest on my fashion illustration board which I renamed to how to sketch fashion so more people could find um, all the cool resources that I have on there and one of my favorite fashion illustrators is uh, Pippa McManus and she is freaking amazing so I'm using her um, two of her girls as inspiration today thank you Pippa girl um, this is just for teaching purposes um, that's all I'm just doing these as um, exercises to show you and if you hear that scratching that's actually my cat Zoe trying to get the heck out of here <laughs> she's trapped in my recording room with me that's hilarious so I did um, what I'm doing is I'm doing a full drawing in black Prismacolor pencil to the best of my ability and you can see, you can see there I am using like the side of my pencil to get the shaded areas and I have to confess I'm not like a professional Prismacolorist or anything um, I know how to work it I have taught it um, but I don't you know profess to be like a like a like a Prismacolor expert or anything but I'm doing my very best job to do this portrait using a single instrument and um, yeah doing a portrait so when you're doing a portrait with a single Prismacolor black pencil um, you have to get kind of creative in how you hold it you have to um, I'm using like if you put the pencil out on the parallel to the paper and like just like you can see here you can do some really decent shading there and get some really light marks if you hold it up like you're gonna right with it you can get some very meaningful dark pitch black marks which is great so you can really get your like your whole value scale uh, going and do some awesome shading um, so you know you just kind of work your best and so I had a really good time because I also picked her as inspiration as and as a reference for this um, comparison because all of her faces she does for fashion illustration she does in Prismacolor and she also her faces are always in black and white and then she goes into Photoshop and she adds like florals and prints on top of them but her faces are always just in black and white which I think is super cool and the overall effect of course is awesome um, so yeah so I just took my time I had a really nice time Again, I'm not an expert, but I had a really good time. I was, if you guys want to try this challenge, it's actually really fun. Sorry about my hair. But um, yeah, you have to kind of keep the tip. It's funny, you have to keep the tip sharpened for when you need like those fine lines, like her eyelashes and her pupils. You have to take the time to make it sharp. But then when you're doing the sh broader shaded areas, you, I, you don't want it sharpened. You want it a little bit more dull. Um, so it's funny, the tip becomes like a very important feature and you have to kind of pay close attention to that to get the effect. Um, that you're looking for but overall I was very pleased with her one thing I did struggle with was not so much the face but her hair when you just have like only some lines that you can really draw it's like not that very exciting <laughs> it's not that very exciting and I did it for in order to like fill in all the hair it would take literally hours and if you know me at all you know like ain't nobody got time for that so like I just did some like doodles which was very unsatisfactory and I was like yeah I'm not that was just for face exercise so uh kind of sad and disappointed when I got to the hair but overall like it was satisfying it took a long time you know to complete her because you have to really go in again pay attention to the tip change the angle of your pencil frequently um and you can't really get like super duper duper fine at least not for me um get fine tips so anyways i was happy when she was done and then i was super looking forward to my stipello which is like the whole point of this video was to show you how amazing it is because it is freaking amazing now you I know you're if you guys know me or have subscribed for a while and you've seen a lot of my mixed media tutorials you know 
that the normal way that I use it is with my mixed media projects and not just on watercolor paper. And can we just talk about the ugly face for a minute? <laughs> you guys, when you get to look at the face right now, that is like hideous. That's hilarious. Don't ever forget that when you're drawing faces, don't like actually pause to look at the face until you're done because it's horrible what you see but yeah you have to ignore you, you literally have to ignore the ugly face so um i don't even remember what i was talking about i was so shocked and awed by the ugliness of that, of that face for a second there Woo! anyways back to what i was saying all right this is it's magical let's just cut to the chase so what I do is I take my girls I outline them in pencil and then I bring in the stabilo and this is where the magic comes in because all you have to do is lay down one layer of stabilo on every place that you want to become black and it just takes a really quick because you don't want to overdo it because these are so such reactive pencils that you literally just do just the outlines right here and that's it and then you have to stop because the water reactiveness is out of control and you gotta be ready for it. So luckily, I also picked Pippa's drawings because they have like massive eye drama. So I thought it would be good because I have massive <laughs> amounts of reactiveness going on right now. Oh my God, awesome. But watch this transformation. This is just water. It's just water. That's it. Look at that. Look at her lips, super duper fast. And all of that is being activated. And all you have to do is touch the Sibilo and then you, your brush is now like covered in black. And then you can use it to paint the areas and you pull the residual Stabilo ink that's now on your brush and you just pull it around into the places that need to be shaded. It's awesome. And it's like super fast and it's super quick. And then what you can do is because it stays water soluble, you can dry your layer, which I just did, and then you can go back and do a second layer. That's what I'm doing now. And then you can reactivate that layer. And then you can dry that layer, and then you can do it again and again and again until you have the effect that you want. Or if it's too much, you can stop, and then you can start drawing with it um, as like you would a regular black Prismacolor pencil, right? But you can layer on, to, on top of layer. You can activate it or not activate it. And it keeps activating no matter how much water. So you can go into old lines and make them more blurred if by adding more water. You can clean up spaces that you don't like. That's what I'm doing now because it stays activatable like forever. So it's so fun. It's fast. It's furious. You have to practice this. If you've never done this before, you will not pull off a successful face for at least a few tries, but you have to try it because it's so much fun. It seriously is. Um, and that's why I love the Stabilo Wall pencil. These girls are both really fun. I learned a lot doing them, but the Stabilo All like cannot be beat in terms of the water reactivity and the blackness of it is darker than any other water soluble pencil on the market, including ink tents. And also ink tents become permanent after you activate them. So it's actually, I like the Stabilo because you can keep activating it. Also, the Stabilo Wall Pencil, and this goes for any water-soluble product, you don't have to activate it with water. In most of my mixed media projects, I don't. I use either matte Mod Podge or glossy Mod Podge, or you can use like Liquitex um, gloss varnish. You can use matte medium. You can use any liquid to activate this, and that can be incorporated into the different layers of your mixed media projects. So I cannot <laughs> highly recommend this product highly enough. I buy them by the dozen. I have them in the other colors too, but I use black 90% of the time. And it just, if I'm traveling, I will bring a black Stabilo All Pencil, a sharpener and a water brush. And like the possibilities are insane. So that is my product review <laughs> and my personal statement on why the Stabilo All Black Pencil kicks ass and why I use it every single day. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, pop them in the comment section. Um, I put a link to, to a dozen pack on Amazon in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe because I have new videos twice a week, Mondays and Fridays. And I have lots of courses available for you at awesomeartschool.com. So check it out there. If you want to learn how to draw fun, fab faces, hey, oh,
oh, what's that? I have a whole series on them that you can find on Amazon. And if you're interested in more mixed media projects, you can go check out my new book, Mixed Media Magic on Amazon.com. I will check you guys on Monday. Have a great weekend. Love you. Bye.